And without further ado, it's time to talk about power. And who do I think is going to die? Well, I'm going to show you a clip of one of the people I think is going to die, and then I'll explain why, and we'll see what Larry can come up with. So what he's not from the hood? Does that mean he doesn't pass your blackness and litmus test? <laughs> so you're telling me the same kid came in with the same story, but he was white. You expect us to change the rules? We already have enough white students in the class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of those two people, one of them is going to kick the bucket. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've already established that Professor Megram probably has a crush on Reek, and more than likely, Reek is going to get some of them grown woman panty draws, and she's going to awaken him to manhood. So having said that, naturally, Jabari is going to die. And I think he's going to die mm -hmm. because some diabolical situation Professor Megram is going to get caught up with dealing with Tariq and his drug game. She trying to defend Reek. Pro uh, Professor Jabari still loving Professor Megram. He's going to take one for the team to try to save Professor Megram, and he's going to catch a bullet. Larry, what do you think? I mean, <clears throat> I wasn't thinking that, but now that you mention it, it sounds very similar to the storyline that would be with, uh, what's her name? Um, that would have been with Tasha and that attorney that, that got taken out. You know, mm -hmm. it can mm -hmm. be very, it seems like it would be very similar to that. So I could, I could see, I could see that happening, mm -hmm. you know, but honestly, I think what's going to happen is Tariq's going to hook up with that professor and Effie's going to kill her because Effie's going to get jealous. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. breaking news. Larry, are you saying you think Effie is going to catch a body and it's going to be Miss Megram, Professor yep. Megram? What? Yep. I think she's going to get caught up in all that mess because of Tariq. And then when Effie comes through with it, she's always going to hate the chick because Effie's going to still have feelings for Tariq. She's going to go ahead and just, you know, I mean, I think she's already got bodies on her. I think that's why she walks with that confidence that she has because she already has, she's already got bodies on her. She already knows what it is. You think Effie already got bodies? Yep. What? I think Effie Ben had bodies. I think she had bodies before she went to choke. <laughs> well, damn, ladies and gentlemen, we, we just breaking power news book two left and right. So there's someone else I think is going to die too. If it's not Jabari, this would be my second case. Ezekiel, the basketball player. He has every reason to die. He is the cousin of Mary J. Blige's character, Monet. Her son is as dirty as they come. We know Diana is probably dirty too. And when there comes to having collateral damage, I can easily see somehow or another the basketball player getting killed because you've already seen how Mary J. Blige is really trying to protect his interests. When shit went down in this past episode, she went and got him first. She ushered him to safety first, which lets you know she has a lot of intent. She wants to see him do well. She wants to see him further his career. But by showing how protective she is of him, also for me highlights that his ass could be kicking the bucket. Larry, expand on my second theory. I could see him maybe going out possibly like towards the end of the season. But to be honest with you, when I think about who might get taken out from that crew, I again, I think I might, I think it might be the young chick that that um, Tariq is sore eyeballing because she's more like a little sister to 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 uh, Zeke, mm -hmm. and so I think when Zeke gets mixed up with all that stuff, I think it might be the little sister that catches hell the same way that Tariq's little sister got caught. She got caught up in all that. She was trying to do the right thing, and she got blasted. I could see her end up trying to do the right thing by Zeke. And then as a consequence, she gets taken out. Well, uh, uh, her name is Diana. And I think that right. everything you just said, you just reversed that and put it on Zeke a good, to go along with what I said about Zeke. I don't see them getting rid of Diana because Diana is going to be the direct connection between Monet and Tariq. I can easily see Diana being the person that tries to use Tariq to siphon information to give back to her mother. So I don't think they'll take her out, but I could easily see them taking out the basketball player because when you need to get rid of these five different storylines they've got going on with Tariq, because you can't run all five of these different storylines. 
he would be the easiest path of resistance to get rid of, and then he could just focus on his schoolwork and running the game with Brady. I could see. I could. I mean, the, here's the thing, though, with him. He's dirty. We know he's not a clean dude. He's dirty, and so mm -hmm. it's easy to take out a bad guy. Bad guys generally get taken out in the end. They usually get taken out in the very end as some sort of. Uh, either as a as at a time of redemption or at a time of, of retribution and you get to feel some way about it like I'm glad that dude's dead or you feel bad about it because he was redeeming himself and now a bad dude's been taken out I can see that happening for him at the very end but I think more than likely what happens is is what they kill someone that you think is innocent and someone that you care about because then it hurts and now you're mm -hmm. invested in the story more and that's why i think diana might get taken out because i think she's someone that is sort of an innocent in all of this and we might end up actually caring about her and we might see her with Tariq, and we might all be end up thinking don't mess with him he's terrible he's bad news he's going to get you hurt or killed and mixed up in some badness and and then he will he'll get her mixed mm -hmm. up in some badness and she'll end up getting shot and killed or kidnapped and burned alive or you know or whatever okay well let's expand on what the people are saying in the comment section first we're going to go to our folk muchella who hangs with the fellas up in new york muchella saying tariq she's saying ezekiel is tariq's free ride for school well that would support more that tariq should have someone take his ass out because that's something he wouldn't have to worry about hell it wouldn't be tariq's fault if Ezekiel dies. And then the other information we've already seen from the trailer review I did, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. There's a vigil at school campus for somebody. It ain't ghost. So mm. there is a school vigil where you've seen Professor Megram and you've seen the students having a vigil for somebody who kicked the bucket. Why not be Ezekiel? Then you help Tariq out. He don't have to do that thing with his deal with Stearns anymore. He's off the hook. I mean, that's a possibility. That's a possibility, but I mean, somebody might get taken out. I don't know if it's gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna be Tariq that's gonna be doing it. I seriously mm -hmm. doubt Tariq's gonna be is gonna be a shooter this this season. He might, he might towards the later on in the season, but not right now. It's a possibility. I, I think they're gonna hold off on that for a little bit because I think they're they're actively trying to make us like Tariq. They're, they're showing us going him going through all this stuff where he's trying to be a student. He's trying to get his mom out of jail. They're trying to he, – he's he's not just being a, a bratty, snotty little kid like he was with his dad just talking about, why do I have to care about this? You did this. Why can't I do this? Blah, blah, blah. He, they seem like he, they're trying to make us like him. Can't really make somebody – can't make us like somebody when he's up there blasting fools. So – I mean, I think if we see that, it's going to be something maybe towards the end of the season when it's more of a, a self-defense justification. Mm -hmm. But I think some people are going to die. It's just going to be this probably going to be done on Tariq's half. And I don't know. Okay. Well, it might be. I still think it might be Effie. Effie might take that, that professor out. She might be like, get up off the D, you oh. know? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't want to see none of them get taken out. Keep all the girls on this season. Keep all of them. Now, they do have some nice looking women this season. Oh yes. And regardless of what Pale Waite said, they've got every spectrum, regardless of what she said. I don't know what she's thinking. It's one of them girls is brown as me. Um <laughs> our boy Futuristic well, you know, Mike is I in like the about the women. You know, another thing I like about the women this season is that they're all natural looking. Like yeah, I don't see yeah. I don't see any of the yeah. of the big booty plastic fake chicks mm -hmm. running around. I don't see yeah. a whole bunch of weaves and 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 all that stuff jumping off. It just looks like good natural good looking women on there. You know, <laughs> brown day. skin, light skin, Puerto Ricans, whatever. They all seem to be just beautiful black women that are all natural. So yeah, then, then you've got racially ambiguous women like the attorney that was going up against um Tasha in the very beginning of the episode, and then you've mm -hmm. got you got nice looking brothers up there too. So they, I think they've done a good job with the casting. Now I, I can feel Paraweight wanting someone even darker. I'm with all that, but I think they did try their best to mix it in. Now I've got one more theory, 
and I can't give y'all all my good theories in one video, but I think there is a point that everyone is overlooking and it revolves around the same damn person we just got finished talking about. Shout out to Mike Willie and Vanessa. Ezekiel, the basketball player. Let's break this down, ladies and gentlemen. And Larry, think about what I'm saying. Okay. Why is Ezekiel so important to Simon Stearns that he's forcing someone to tutor him to get him through school? That should tell you. Well, what, does, what does someone have on Simon dealing with Ezekiel? Or what is the situation with Ezekiel and Simon's relationship that he wants him to be tutored by Tariq? Well, I mean, it could be that he's it could be that he has some dealings with, with Mary J, you know, and they're in that whole business over there. It could just be too that that you know, I mean, he's a he's a booster for the school and he wants he wants to bring people in so that he remains valuable to the university. So if he's bringing Zeke in or or making sure that, that Zeke stays, you know, stays eligible, that's one of those things that boosters can do to stay valuable to the school and and, and maintain their position. So, I mean, it's, there could be multiple things. I don't want to say it's just one thing because it could be just one thing. It could be that someone just has something on him and so he's doing these things as a consequence. But it could just be that Simon Stearns, has multiple reasons for it. It could be that someone has something on him. It could be that he's just a good booster. Man, I don't know. Hell no. Simon Stearns is like Donald Trump. He's that type of con man. He's not yeah. just gonna, yeah, man, he's not just gonna help some random black basketball player unless there's some vested interest for him. He's not just gonna be doing something out of the kindness of his damn heart. Something is being hovered over Simon Stearns' head, dealing with Zeke. And I guess we'll just have to wait and find out somewhere down the road as we go along with this I'll say, season. Go I'll ahead. say this. I, I have to disagree a little bit because I think, honestly, I think that – I think Simon Stearns took a genuine interest in, in Jamie and, you know, when on the regular power. And I think that if, if – I think that if Ghost didn't really try and F him over, I think he would have been okay. I think if Ghost had been able to just seriously walk away from everything, like Ghost should have just said, I'm leaving and left and went to Europe and ran those clubs like he was wanted to do instead of messing around with Tommy. He should have just told Tommy, I'm out, homie. I'm did, gone. Did, do what you want to do. Take the business. You? Don't take the business. I don't care what you do. I'm out. And he should have just left. No. Simon Stearns first tried to finesse Ghost for the club. And then Ghost had to go get dirt on him and get the wife involved to refinesse Simon Stearns. Simon I, Stearns. I, I, I know, I, I remember all that, but I think that I think that once he realized who he was dealing with, because I think for a while I thought he was, I think he thought he was just dealing with some, with just some street kid who got lucky and happened to be a good promoter or something. I don't think he understood how how much business acumen that that ghost had and i think once he did and then he had respect for him i think he genuinely wanted to just work with him and Which, i think he could have if they were if he wasn't on so much bullshit with tommy which you which bu which buffers my argument the only reason simon dealing with you is because he see he'll way he can get a gain out of it from you same well, there's thing. Nothing wrong with that. The dude's a money. I mean, the dude's a businessman. I'm not going to go work with someone that I don't think can, can do any good for me. And you and, know? He's, and he's not just going to randomly help some basketball player just out of the kindness of his heart. There's a benefit. Well, somewhere. yeah, and that's where I would say maybe because he's a booster, maybe that's where the benefit comes in. There's a lot of stuff that happens with those boosts. Like for instance, he owns clubs. So if mm -hmm. the university wants to have post parties, or if people from the university want to host parties. He has the facilities to do that. He has the club, the, the, the caterers, all that stuff. And so there's benefits to providing your services to, to your alma mater for, you know, and then as a consequence, the people turn around and say, Oh yeah, we need to host a party. We can, we can hold it at Simon's place or, or we need to do this or that. We can host it at Simon's place or we can bring him in for catering or whatever else. There's, I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying that there's not more to that because it's a TV show about a bunch of drug dealers and other criminals. So I'm sure there's something more. Right. But it could be it could be more than just one single thing that has him, you know, one to help this kid. Yeah, I mean, I can agree with that. But ain't none of them for altruistic reasons. 
<laughs> that's okay. all. That's all I'm saying. It ain't okay. none of them just because he's a sweet white man out of New York that loves to help African American children get a leg up. That's I can see I'm that. Saying. I can see where he, I can see that he has. I can see where he wants to have some benefit out of it. I can get that. 